All right, guys, so I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Naviance. We already did an introduction to Naviance with Miss Woodruff, but I need you guys to log back in and then you're gonna fill out my little um, Naviance report sheet because I need to make sure that I know what career you guys are interested in pursuing and if you're able to find things. So remember, you can text me through Remind 101 if you have any questions or you can email me tomorrow if you're absolutely not getting into Naviance. It's probably because you you just forgot your password or you typed in your South Lake email incorrectly. And so what I want you guys to do is watch this video and then just contact me because I'm going to have to contact Miss Woodruff as well. But this is all leading up to our career research paper. So it's very important that you log on to it today so that I know you know how to use it because we're pulling our research from Naviance as a source. And so you're going to need it. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I'm going to show you how to go to Navion. So you're literally going to type in Naviance, just like that. This should come up and you're going to click on that or the link that I put in Google Classroom. So um, you're just going to go up to the sign in. You are student and families zip code. Our school zip code is 28078. Go. We're going to look for South Lake Christian Academy right here. This is where you've already registered, so you don't need to register. This is where you're going to put your email. So you're going to put your, I believe it's first name dot last name at Southlake. Oops, sorry. Southlakechristian.net. Okay, so whatever your Ren Web, whatever your Ren Web email is. So you got to put your first name dot last name at Southlakechristian.net. If that does not work, then do first name last name at southlakechristian.net. If that does not work, first initial last name. Okay, so there's a couple different variations. Try that first before you try to email me. I can't get in right now, but that's just because I'm a teacher and not a student. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna see when you get onto Naviance. This is gonna be a little strange because I'm gonna show you a video on a video. So I want you guys to watch this for just a second. And you know your name should appear up there when you log in at the top. So once you get logged in, there are lots of ways to get to the career interest profiler. So this is what you're looking at. This is what the screen looks like. And you have your Naviance student up in the top left. You have your name. And then you're going to go over to either About Me and search for your career path, or you're going to do this. The one way that I'll show you today is if you go to the About Me section, and this is a neat section to look at because you're going to do a couple of things in here throughout high school. So you're going to go to my stuff. Um, one of them is my assessments. And there are a couple of different things. Or my assessments. You can do that really help explore who you are as a learner as well as what you would be good at. So that's what it's going to look like. So we're looking for careers and clusters I'm thinking about or my assessments because you've already taken the assessments with me. So now I'm gonna jump over to here. I want you to see this. So th these are the things that I want you guys to look at and I will show you the, the about me thing that I want you guys to do. So careers and clusters, it allows you guys to search for pathways or things that you're interested in. So when you look under here, it goes career and clusters, and then you're able to see the types that you're interested in. You can save them and explore that way. The favorite career and clusters tool allows you guys to search professions and professional fields to find occupations you're interested in. So if you go over here, you can actually research and click on each one. That's what it should look like. When you are using the explore careers and clusters, you're first gonna search by a keyword or a category. I say just put in a keyword. If you want to be a librarian, put in librarian. If you wanna be an engineer, put in engineering. And that also tells you how much your person can make, what kind of tasks this career um, has you do, and so forth. Then you can look at the career cluster finder. You guys have already taken that. Basically, you're just looking, it's looking at your match, so your result. You can go over to these two, and you can explore careers as well if you don't like the results that came up. It's a tool. It's going to help you guys work activities and careers that match your interest. Okay, so you've already taken this. All you're going to do 
All you're going to do is fill out some information in a worksheet that I provided for you so that I know you can log on and that you won't have any trouble navigating the website. So if you see the attached worksheet, the attached um, Naviance report, that will make more sense to you.